Original series of code wrestling, and today we are going to learn about find us algorithm. So let's understand some of the basic concept first. So first is concept learning. What is this concept learning? Concept learning is a learning task in which we train our machine to learn some concept by giving some predefined examples. Uh, so let's suppose if chair is a concept, then the features that determine it is a chair belongs to the concept. Else, it doesn't belong to the concept. So it is either a yes or no. That is either a positive example or it is a negative example. In this, we have two categories. That is general hypothesis and a specific hypothesis. So if I will generalize it with a real problem, then it could be something like if I'm telling my friend that get me something to eat. So it's now his choice. He can bring me either a pizza or a burger or a pasta or a noodles. So it is generalized. He can bring anything he wants. But if I'm telling get me a pizza which is loaded with onions, capsicum, tomatoes and some sweet corn. So it is now specific. He has to bring a pizza which is loaded with the toppings which I have mentioned. So now it, it is very specific. I have specified, specified it. So the general hypothesis can be represented by a question mark this question mark the number of this question mark depends on the number of attributes similarly when i'm making a specific hypothesis that it that is represented by s then it is represented as represented with a phi and the number of phi's depends on number of attributes so now head towards our find us algorithm so what this find us algorithm does it finds the most specific hypothesis and it considers only the positive example Okay, this is a very important point that it considers only the positive examples. It will eliminate all those negative examples. So now let's understand its algorithm. So the very first step is initialize your hypothesis to most specific hypothesis. So here, since it is most specific, hence we will initializing it to phi. And the number of phi depends on the number of attributes. Now after that, we will consider all the positive examples and in all those positive examples, we will consider each and every attribute and check whether this attribute value is equals to this hypothesis value or not. If it is equals, then we don't have to do anything. But if it is not, then we have to replace it with a most generalized term that is a question mark. So this is what our algorithm is and this is the diagrammatic representation that is initialize H. Then you have to consider each and every positive example, then each attribute, then after that check whether it is a, whether the attribute value is equals to hypothesis value. If it is, then check for the next attribute, else just replace it with a question mark. Okay, so let's understand our data set now. The concept which we are learning today is the days on which person enjoys a sport. We have the final attribute that is yes and no. So the yes will be considered as the positive examples and no will be considered as negative examples. Other than that, we have six attribute. First is the sky, then temperature, humidity, wind, water and forecast. Now the algorithm says, first we have to initialize our hypothesis H. So H0 is equals to the most specific hypothesis. Now since we cannot compare my further training instances with phi, so I have to initialize it with something that can be comparable. So I will initialize my most specific hypothesis with, with the first positive instance. So my first positive instance is the first row. That is sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. So this will be initialized my general hypo most specific hypothesis. Now my second step says that for each positive example, I have to consider each attribute. Then I have to compare whether the attribute value is equals to hypothesis value or not. If it is, then do nothing else. Replace with a question mark. That is a general hypothesis. Okay. So now. The hypothesis which we have obtained till now is sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. Now I will compare it with my most, uh, with my second instance that will be sunny with sunny, warm, warm. Now here it is high, but my hypothesis says it is normal. I have to generalize it. So I'll put a question mark in this place. Now compare next attribute that is strong is equals to strong, warm is equals to warm and same is equals to same. Thus the new hypothesis which I have obtained is sunny, warm, a general hypothesis question mark, strong, warm and same. Now let's see the third instance. So my third instance is a negative example and since find us works only on positive example, thus I will omit my third exam, third instance. Let's come to the fourth instance. So till now the hypothesis I have obtained is this sunny, warm, then question mark, strong, warm, same. Now I will again make a comparison on each attribute. So sunny is equals to sunny, warm is equals to warm. This is general, so it can attain any value, doesn't matter. 
then strong is equal to strong here it is, it is cool here it is warm thus again generalize it put a question mark in this place then same and same then that's all so the final hypothesis which I have obtained is sunny warm question mark strong question mark same this hypothesis can be changed based on the data which we have obtained for example if it was change over here then same and change is different so I will put a question mark over here to generalize it thus our hypothesis depends on the data which we have uh, which we have used so guys i hope you have learned and enjoyed our video okay stay tuned with us do like subscribe and share and don't forget to give your valuable feedback to us thank you